So in my opinion, there are many reasons for why anti-Semitism exists. I think there's a greater metaphysical reason, which is the fact that we are an organ that is supposed to serve a purpose of bringing light into the world, and we're not serving that purpose. So just like in any body, when an organ is not functioning, a body rejects it for not functioning. And that's so, sort of what's happening on a greater scale. So okay. either, yeah. Yeah, no, so practically people say whatever they feel. I, I get it. But Dr. Lightman, to your but point. It, but it does stem from somewhere. Right. So, Dr. Lightman, to your point, there's only one reason, right? You, you, there's only one thing. Or do we have to now act, you know, work on different uh, levels? We have to uh, make sure that people, uh, the Jews who are in power do good things. We have to make sure that Jews in, uh, in, politic, you know, in government in Israel do good things. We have to, do we have to work with all those fronts or just on the one thing? That's what I'm trying to get to. What's the, you know, what's the action? Where should we focus our efforts on? Look, our world is an integrated world. It's a globally integrated world. It's a single system. You can call it a single collective soul. What it means is that all the elements of still, vegetative, animate, and human that exist in this world are all, they're all interconnected. They're interdependent in very many in many intricate connections however only on the human level from the still vegetative and animate levels only the human level possesses a force that resists the natural balanced connection that exists in reality and that resistance is called the human ego now it is said that the creator says i created the evil inclination and i created the spice of torah to correct it now, we're not using what is called Torah or the upper light to correct the human ego. We can also see that across the Jewish population, they're divided to many different factions, many different, uh, due to many different differences, a lot of feuds, etc. So we are not realizing the, the, the connection that we should be. And as a result, we're not carrying out and passing on the method for human connection for the whole world. And we also don't understand that we're doing it or not doing it. We're not seeing this. This has been forgotten from our people for many generations. And the nations of the world, too, don't understand exactly what we need to bring to the world. So in, in, in the current state, we don't understand why, why we are punished, and they don't understand why they hate us. However, that hatred is embedded in nature. That's why it's not going to help to try to convince them in, in, in words, because that is something that is embedded in nature. It is a force of nature that pushes us and them to all become unified into a single global system. And that's why everything that is happening now will continue to worsen and continue to escalate until we'll all begin to hear that we have nothing to do besides correcting our ego. And we, the people of Israel, have to do this and set an example for this for the whole world and then the whole world can start moving towards this connection. Un until then, we won't exactly understand why the hatred, what, where it comes from. We'll try to jot down all kinds of reasons. They won't understand exactly where the hatred is coming from, and they will try to, rel to, to relate the hatred to all kinds of reasons on the ground, that we are greedy, that we are lying, that we are confused, confusing and manipulating everyone, you know, all those things. The thing is, the root cause is the root and the root solution is to, to move towards connection. And in that, we don't depend on anyone. We can do this. We can start moving towards this example of brotherly love. And when we do so, then it will ripple throughout the system and the nations will realize that we are moving towards a positive connection that influences the whole world. There, there is no um, reason or way in which we can detach from this goal, from this purpose that we have. We have to do it and as soon as possible. And otherwise, all those viruses that we just started now getting into, 
a few months ago. This will continue to escalate to the point that it will really disrupt the fabric of human society. And we, ultimately, the people of Israel, will suffer more than everyone. Not from the virus, from the hatred that will emerge from the people of the world towards us.